Oh, there we go. All right, I'm recording, fellas. Welcome back. Welcome back. Your boy Roy Rob is in the building. We got a um a special one. We about to do some 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 fun stuff here today and uh kind of change this up a little bit because we got the world going crazy in the last dragon. We focus today on boxing. I got my boy T Perry in the building. T Perry, what's good, fam? What's good, man? And of course, uh, you know, T Perry is a regular, but I also got uh, one of my homies out there doing his thing in Thailand, CJ, CJ, uh, professional fighter. What's good, fam? How you doing? What up? What up? Hello, world. How y'all doing? Yeah, man. We gonna we gonna get this today going, man. We gonna we gonna uh, kind of start as basic as possible. I'm gonna ask you both a question, and I'm gonna start with CJ. Ooh. I'm starting with you, CJ. Who wins and why? Mike Tyson uh, versus Roy Jones Jr. The okay. battle of the century is coming up. <laughs> Agreed to an exhibition fight, eight rounds, 50 plus Mike and 50 plus Roy. I think they 57 and 51. I don't know. Who wins uh, and why? Yeah. Um, It's a battle of logic and heart right now. It's like, you know, everybody pulling for Mike, you know. Um, we all think of Mike, of like, Mike and his greatness, you know. But in reality, he hasn't fought since, like, 2004 or five, I think. Long time. And, and uh, Roy Jones' last fight was 2018. Right. So he's been, he's been active. And say what you want, he punch drunk, punch drunk, whatever. He's been fighting, so he's still been like keeping up with himself. That's not to say that like Mike won't like we seen Mike. He looked like he in shape. And I think this match is for September twelfth right now. Yeah. Book for September twelfth. So they got they got about a little over a month and a half to get into some fighter shape. Mike already looked like he in some shape. But like given their ages and uh how well in good shape they'll be. I think we'll get at least three good rounds, you know, at least before the A starts showing. Um and I think in them three rounds I think in I think in them three rounds, man, Roy gonna stay away early, obviously, but yeah. if he go on there, if he go on there, if Mike come in there and he ain't playing and he like not being nice. Which I don't think he will be. I mean, he could put him away. So it just all depends on it. I think it the the biggest the most the thing that is this is dependent on the most is what is Mike gonna look like? Is he gonna look like? Is he gonna be able to sustain like that, or is he gonna like die after three rounds, two two and a half rounds? Or he gonna get real tired and then Roy just gonna piece him up? You know, because I really don't want to see both neither one of them hit too much. So <laughs> just that's just me. Cause I I, I I I think they are very good mentors to the game, and they got a lot of knowledge to pass on. I just right. don't want to see them punch drunk. You know, like I don't want to see them punch drunk. But this is fun. This is definitely fun. But uh, on it. So to answer the question, I think uh, Mike in and three, Roy in six. Okay, o okay, okay. So you just di took a diplomatic answer. If it goes yeah. past three, it's Roy. If it's yeah. if it's under three, it's Mike all day. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's okay. Mike Tyson. I mean, it's still Mike, man. He got that pop. We seen him hit him pads. If he connect with anybody, anybody, I don't care how, what the age is. If he fought a young fighter right now and he caught him with one of them punches, they going to feel it. You know, so like, Okay, this is what we need to do right now. I want I want to share my screen before T Perry. Before we get to get into your responses, I need you to see this. Okay, uh, it's going to be critical, and you guys let me know if you guys can see my screen. Well, I can see. It. I'm gonna start with Mike's highlights. Um, I'm I'm a 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna just start with a couple. It, it's it's some ancient highlights out here, but I I've, I've clicked a couple of these in the past, so I know what I'm looking for. All right, so so I'm, I wanna I wanna preface this. I think I think um, both of them are just amazing. So it's just not easy. It is not easy to kind of say, yes, I know who's going to win. Um, it's just very difficult, man. Let's just, let's just look at a couple highlights. Let's just, let's just piece this, piece this together. He sidesteps like no other man. The dude is. That's young Mike, though. That is young, young Mike. Mike. And Roy has always been lighter, the lighter, quicker, more mobile fighter. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pop up so we can see young Mike in his side steps, dude. His footwork is just unfreaking believable. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna go to Roy. I, I gotta, I gotta put Roy Jones in here now. So, <laughs> this is so unfair, man. This is like, this is not. It's just, I can't even. It's almost one of those situations you can't. <sighs> Captain Hook. Captain Hook, man, that dude, oh my God. We talking about some intelligent fighters here, man. They brain in the ring is un is just unbelievable. So Roy always had like dominant athleticism. Like he got away with stuff you wasn't supposed to get away with as a fighter because he was so athletic. So athletic, man. And fast, and Ooh. fast for the weight class. So that that's why I said a lot of this is going to have to depend on like what type of shape they're in, because if I mean if Roy's in good shape and able to move at this age, similar to how he moved before, um, and Mike's moving the same way, it's going to be interesting. Man, oh my God, the excitement! Just seeing this right here, can you imagine? This okay, okay. We back, we back to it, man. I had, I had to get this out. So let me, let me stop sharing so I can let T. Perry have a couple seconds to, to voice his opinion. And why, T. Perry? And why? Well, while that was going on, I was just reading uh, Roy's upcoming obituary because Roy finna lose his life. I don't care what y'all talking about. And I've seen a and I've seen a recent I've seen a recent video of Roy training. Roy Roy been in Dallas for the past two days with my home. Man, it's not going down. <laughs> it's just like it's not going down. Wait a minute, man. Wait, wait, wait. Pause, man. Pause, 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 pause. You ain't gave me a why. You gave me an opinion. Give me some more why to it. Because he's been in doubt. Here, here, here's my why. Well, okay. We, we understand that both both of them are on the, I guess, what we would say, the wrong side of uh, competition age. They're on the wrong side of that. Like, Mike's like 54. Or the other, like, I forget who's younger, who's older in, in that retrospect, right? But, uh, but, um, Yes, Roy has been the most active with his last bite being 2018, but is that something that he that he should have been doing? Like, was we really checking for Roy, like for Roy Jones boxing for one? And then when we did see it, we were like, yeah, he need to sit his ass down. Like, he need to go on and let that go. We was all thinking that. So then, 
the re and here's my the other part of that why is this mic this mic scares me because I look at I've listened to previous interviews that he's done on several podcasts, including his own, and he has stated, and when the question gets asked, hey, you know, do you keep, do you work out? I'm like, yeah, I work out. He's like, and the question got asked, well, do you, do you do anything like as it relates to boxing or fighting? He was like, no. He's like, I, like I've completely, sta- I've completely stayed away from it because of the guy that he had to be to compete. Everybody, Mike was was a walking demon, and he understood that. So for somebody to step away, even on a, even from a recreational standpoint, and tr- you know what I'm saying, and tr- when it comes to training, you know what I'm saying, like you you, and you coming back to that lets me further know that the dude that you tried to stay away from all these years from when, from from since 2005 in your last fight something happened between 2005 and 2000 in the last 15 years that led this man to be, led this man to be comfortable with being that dude again now and if we're comparing if we're sitting here comparing you know we saw highlights from both of them you can't show me a 2018 training video where Roy looks like the video you just showed. But we can see the most I got recent. Some hype. Huh? I got some hype for y'all. What, what? What? Have y'all seen this Tyson video for the preview fight? No. Nah. You want like, to share your screen if you want to share it, or you can't do it, can you? It's on my computer. I don't know how to. Uh, let me see. That's okay. That's okay. If you can, if you can find. Yeah. All right. It's can like a can... great. Yeah. All, All right. right. So let me see if y'all can y'all can see this. Maybe. Uh, let me... All right. We're not born to be humble. We're born to be humble. Everybody know. Yeah. Back to the blue sport. He dominated. He dominated. His legs are huge. His thighs are huge. His arms are huge. His neck is huge. So it's like, it's very risky, yes. Regardless of the control the ball. I was beating everybody in every weight class I was in. What's she going to do? See, it's like David and Goliath. He's a giant monster we know. And my ego's f***ing with me. I'm saying, you think you fly and you ain't shit. Look. <laughs> That's exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Right? <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen, dog. That's what I'm, thank you. Like, 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 thank you for 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 providing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That to help my point. Like I, I don't, I don't think people taking Bruh, this as serious as what they need to. No, but look, about- it's um, it, it it it's more to it than that though because it it's gonna be some rules that they have to fight under. Like some of the rules have been released. Like um, I think that if either of them gets cut, then the fight is gonna stop immediately. Like they stop the fight if any of them get cut. It's not like a real fight. It's not easy it's- bleeders though. Yeah, they are. Oh, they've been in a lot of fights. They got a lot of scar tissue. Both of them got scar tissue. So that's very easy. That can happen in the first minute of the fight, bro. Like, we could be getting hyped about this, and it'd be over in a minute because somebody gets struck. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not extremely hype about it, but I'm I'm like, it's exciting. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's just got, got, they got some rules set up around it trying to protect them. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, if y'all gonna let these dudes fight, let them fight. If not, well, let me you know. let me give you my why. Roy Jones wins. You can I like say that because your first name is Roy. I, I, I that that is a good why. That's a great why, man. But let me let me tell you. So 
I like the comparison of the recent fight. That is a big deal. But the bigger deal is there has been, which is unbelievable, there, there has been an elite number, not an elite, there has been a few boxers at the end of Mike's career that has found his, his number. They found his card. They found the ability to drag Mike out. And they found the, the ability to use that jab to keep them away, from, keep him away from them. And they've done that successfully. If Roy is smart enough to maintain his, in, his, his energy and his endurance and keep Mike off of him, Mike, Mike can get caught. I think Mike can get caught. I think Mike, uh, I think Roy's long arms and hopefully his uh, IQ in the ring will keep Mike up off of him. If Mike is on him, it's over. Of course, there's no chance. But I feel, I feel pretty confident that somebody who fought two years ago, who probably at least had 10 rounds, and he's he, he stays in the gym coaching and he's been around like he's still you know it, it's it looks it looks it looks on paper like Roy should do this. This is this it looks like on paper. Mike has always been explosive. I mean, I can we can go find some other ex, super explosive guys that look like Mike that's a lot younger and I think there's the the talent of the game it's not like we can't say there's never going to be another Michael Roy Jones, but what we can say right now for two individuals, I got to roll with Roy, man. I got to roll. I respect that. I, I got to roll that. with Roy, man. Now my next well, question. I, my, thing is, my thing is this, um, and this might be a little different. It might be. But I look at it, I, I, I look at the – part of it is the equivalent to what I'm saying. Because only one of them was like took a long layoff for whatever reason, whatever his reasons were. Um, if we're saying the active fighter should have been should have a leg up, he should have a leg up. What the hell happened with GSP and Michael Bisping? I think that's if we're saying on paper, paper. Man, that's a different sport, bro. You got to give me. Oh, but what? But we're. But what I'm saying, no, but it's still the same under the same umbrella as okay. This dude has been hasn't been fighting for however long. This dude has still been actively doing whatever. If we're saying that I, I wouldn't even comply. The active is, fighter is, is on it, paper is, is this. Is this. Is this pure? I don't want to go down that road. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep but talking. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like you, both of y'all brought up who been doing what recently, right? No, no. So, really. If on paper is this is what it is. I think that um it's more so with this. Um Tyson's dangerous because the headspace he's in, he feels like he's in a good headspace. Like, yeah, he's still Tyson, he's gonna say all the all the right things, like he's gonna approach it like it's a fight, he's gonna approach it like he kill or be killed in there or whatever. Um, but then I'm looking at like the rule set that they're fighting under. I'm looking at um, the fact that they're going to be fighting at 12-ounce gloves. Um, it's going to be hard to knock them out with some 12-ounce yeah. gloves. Um, it's going to be hard for who's not It's going to be it, – it, for both of them, it's like neither one of them – like they can, obviously, but in 12-ounce gloves, it's not the same as if they was fighting in 10-ounce gloves. Um a little bit is the ounces up. is that because I'm, it's, and I'm thick, asking it's, you, it's you, thick pads. It's like yeah, it's thick pads. So the big so if you yeah. like if you fighting in fifteen ounces, I think it's fifteen is like you are amateur. That's what I used to have to wear the biggest gloves so possible. Got, it can't you can't really it ain't it's it, it's just not the same. You, it's just like getting hit with not a pillow, but it's a no thick, 12, 12s aren't 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 small, but they're not small, they but they thick, they bigger. Big. Yeah, they ain't big, they ain't small, but they like they right for like heavyweights fighters. They they not they don't fight in twelves. They fight in tens, I believe. But um, usually. But what I'm saying is, I don't know if they're gonna be fighting headgear or not. They uh, I'm seeing they're not fighting headgear, but then I'm also seeing rules and Cali say they you know, they might have to fight in headgear. So I don't know. We'll we'll know more as time goes on. 
I think if they fight in headgear, it's way less likely that anybody gets knocked out or cut. I love you know? it. I actually love I, it, man. No, I'll say I nobody gets cut. Head. I love I'm, the headgear. Let me tell you the safety, because that was my second question. How many of you guys don't want to see the fight because of safety? Is it our fan love for the bo- the game in boxing, our fandom, it's got us really want to see something that's putting two legends at risk. How, I think yeah, that's what it is. They signed, they signed up for this. Like, we we with the, the public one, like, hey, you know what would be great? Let's watch these old ass boxers fight and see who's going to win. Nah, they they <laughs> they, they, they did, came man. out of left field. They came out of left field with this something they want to do for themselves. So it's just like we just get to as usual. We just get to be benefits of greatness and watch and be. They don't need the money. Them. Mike donating his. That's the crazy part. Mike donating his, all his money. So what is so this? Like, so what is this really? Here, the thing, the, the thing with headgear, it, it's it's a uh, like some people love headgear, some don't, you know. And it, they say that you take more punches over time with headgear, but when it comes to a fight, an amateur fight, it's it's protective. So I think it would be, I, it just all depends, you know. I wouldn't mind them fighting in headgear, to be honest. I we watch the Olympics. We watch the Olympics. They fight in headgear. It's no problem. So well, now like, I need more. Uh, I mean, but amateur wise, like for years we watched like amateur. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. When they're going yeah. through when they're going through circuits, we watch amateurs fight a headgear all the time. People still get knocked out. So like it's very possible, you know, like and uh, so like I don't have a problem with them fighting a the headgear, but at the same time, man, I just don't wanna see like to be honest, I already feel like Roy don't fought too much in his life. You know, a lot, uh, bro. but I feel like he's still. I mean, I feel like he's still there for this fight, but I just, I just don't want to see that pad like Muhammad Ali or like guys that just can't. Like he, he never been the most eloquent speaker like ever, even when he was the man, you know. But like, you could start telling like his speech, like he sounds a little different when he talks. It's some of his age, some of it's just. I feel like he is a little punch drunk. You know? I agree. So, I agree with that statement because you, he was as a commentator. He already was already all, all over the board, especially when Mayweather was coming through the reins, building up. He was commenting, he was commentating on all the Mayweather fights. Yeah. He yeah. did a lot of that that side uh, ringside debate on who should win, what was going on to help the average fighter, average uh, viewer know what was going on. And he sounds so much different back then compared to how he sounds now. He kind of sounds like you say, like I've been hit too many times. Um, um, you could just tell that cognitive part of him is is diminishing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's why I was hoping that uh, like Stephen was able to get in here because he's been watching. Like he's a big fan of Roy Jones. Like, and I know he's been probably watching him since he was a kid. So he probably could give a little more insight on that. But, shout um, out to Stephen. We might have to. Uh, that might have to be the, the plan. What we gonna do? We gonna we gonna we gonna do this as part one, and then we gonna come back. At, with part two, I'm about to put up part two right now. I'm about to uh, get this popping. So, dragons, stay tuned. Y'all just heard the first T. Perry, Roy Rob, Energy signing out.